Hey everybody, just a quick vinyl finds video. Stick around and we'll dive in. All right, uh, picked up some albums recently and just thought I'd share them. Um, just an interesting mix of things, some new releases and uh, a couple things that I just uh, picked up at random and, and uh, wanna share with you here. Um, the first item is a uh, actually a 10-inch um, EP. It's called All I Need from Jake Bug. This uh, came out in, I don't know, the last year or two. I didn't realize it. Um, I think this is a European-only release. Uh, it's got uh, two tracks on each side. Um, on side A is the title track, All I Need, and then there's a second version of it from the Mahogany Sessions. And then on uh, side B, it is actually two more versions of All I Need. Um, one is called the uh, Rudimental Remix, and then the other is the Frank Wah Remix. Um, also coming with it was an autographed um, insert, which is kind of cool. So Jake Bug, if you're not familiar, he's kind of a bluesy rocker. He had a breakthrough album when he was about 16 years old or so. Um, he's released... I don't know, four or five albums to date. Um, pretty good. He's been a little inconsistent, I guess, over time. But uh, I, I enjoy his music and have been trying to pick up his stuff as it comes out. So um, I, I was thought it was kind of cool. I think I got an email alert that they had you know limited copies left um, available. Of this and I had no idea it had even come out. Um, you know when it did. So uh, hopped on it. It took a little while to get here because, as I said, this is a European release. So I had to order it and it shipped overseas. But uh, managed to get to me no problem. The next item, um, a while back I did a video uh, about an audio file haul that I had. Uh, part of that audio file haul was just I was digging around the bins and see what else I found. And um, they had, there was a copy, a used copy of Gish from the Smashing Pumpkins. And this is uh, uh, the remastered version from the past 10 years or so. I can't remember the exact year it came out. Um, but you can always tell because it's in the, you know, the, the foil cover. Um, I don't know why the Pumpkins did this with all their remasters. I, I really love their original artwork so much better. Um, I, I'm not sure why they stylized all of them like this. Um, you know, they did it with uh, 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 all the all the albums when they remastered them. But um, it, was, it was 10 bucks. Um Definitely a $10 copy. You know, it looked okay in the bin. Um, I figured at $10, I'll take a chance of it because these things are, it's I, its not out of print. It's just a waiting repress and tough to find. Uh, there's a few scratches on it. Um, it does not play the cleanest, um, but it is okay at, at $10. Um, so I, uh, you know, overall fine. Um, kind of a cool pickup. All right, and then uh, I'm real excited to get this one. Uh, a lot of people talking about it. Tears for Fears, The Tipping Point. Uh, this is the indie exclusive, which is on kind of a greenish vinyl. Um, gotta say, I love this album. Uh, you know, I had my doubts when I heard it was coming out, and then in the last month or so, uh, I did stream a couple songs that they had released ahead of the album, um, nice gatefold, uh, and I'm just uh, real happy, I mean, I, I want to, I don't, you know, is this as good as, as the first couple albums, especially, you know, like songs from the big chair, no, but I, I think this gets them closer to their roots. Um, it's not quite as synth poppy as, as obviously the stuff in the early 80s, early to mid 80s. But I think the songwriting and, and musically, um, this is about as good as, as you're going to get from these guys and just really excited um, that they're back and, and making music again because uh, just one of my favorite bands of all time. And um, you know, a huge part of my childhood. Um, I, I practically wore out the cassette tape of, of songs from the big chair when it came out. So um, excited about this one. All right, um, another new release. Um, and, and this is another favorite artist of mine, just a little bit more modern. Uh, Sturgill Simpson, 
the Ballad of Dude and Juanita. Uh, this is the indie exclusive um, on natural vinyl, which I guess is a, a, a fancy way of just saying, you know, pretty clear. Um, and it does have an illustrative uh, insert in it. Um, I'm not going to take it out because it's got one of those crazy resealable flaps and it's a pain to get in and out. Uh, but as the hype sticker says, it is 100% Kentucky sauce. Uh, I love Sturgill Simpson. I'm not a huge country fan, but he does the type of country music I like. It's a little bit more Americana, um, you know, a little bit more rootsier, blues, bluegrass. The, the stuff that I like to listen to, not pop country, you know, radio-friendly country music, I guess you, you would consider it. Um, this is definitely getting him closer to, I guess, you know, the sound you would expect from him. And then just the odd thing about it too, is this is like a, it's like a concept album, you know, it's like if, if, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's telling a story and, and just really a cool album, you know, 20 years ago, if you told me that, uh, you know, one day in 2022, you're going to be listening to like a country concept album, I would have been like, you're out of your mind. You know, I, I'm not listening to country music. Um, but th this is really good, and, and I think if you're somebody that's been on the fence with country music, but you kind you know you're into maybe the Americana sound, um, I, give give him a try. Uh, it's just really good music, so so definitely check him out. Don't don't be afraid of this type of country. All right, and last um, but certainly not least is the new album from Band of Horses. Things are great. And this also is an indie exclusive limited edition translucent rust vinyl. Um, I don't know if rust is uh, the color I would think of when looking at it. It's more of a, I don't know, not quite peachy orange, but um, it, it's it, it's yeah, that's not very rusty. <laughs> but uh, you know, another good one. I, I'm a fan of Band of Horses. Um, I, I don't know. I need to give this one a couple more spins. Uh, I listened to it once, and then I was streaming it. I don't want to say that this is definitely not my favorite from them. Um, they just it just doesn't have that one song that really like hooks you in. Uh, but you know, overall, it, it's fine. It's a solid album. But I, I think the thing with me and Band of Horses is it, it's just one of those bands where they don't put out anything that's bad, but they don't always have for me at least a song or songs that just like suck you in and you want to just keep on hitting replay over and over again they kind of i don't know they, they just at times start sounding similar so I, I don't know how else to describe it um but you know overall uh solid um you know if, if not somewhat pedestrian i guess uh if that makes sense but um you know, let me know what you think. If you picked up any of these albums, Tears for Fears, Sturgill, anything else, uh, leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will be back with more videos soon. Take care.